Welcome back, everybody. I'm Alex Taylor. Here we are at the DIY Live Pavilion, and thanks to our friends at Craftsman, this is a Craftsman experience on the road. We're at Barrett Jackson for 2012. Mickey Harris here, right here. This guy, one of the most amazing artists, he did a first responders tribute General Motors truck to September 11th. I gotta tell you, there's been a lot of people with tears, Mickey. Thank you very much, man. Awesome. My artwork. pleasure. Thank you. So as you know, I was an airbrush artist when I was in high school. Right. That is the genesis of my automotive career. It started with the art. You know, that's a passion. So where did your career start? Well, my career started in Florida, Fort Walton Beach, and uh, like you, as a, as a young child, without really giving away our ages, because I know we're similar in age, started very similar in that regard to falling in love with automobiles. And uh, uh, my father was a fighter pilot, and I, I grew up as a military uh, brat, and uh, so I had a love for aviation art as well, so painting on things metal, and uh, the military has always been a passion of mine, which is brought me to some of the things that I'm best known for, and it's that kind of work. Yeah. So now, this artwork that you've done on this car, you have how many hours in it? This particular piece, around 500 hours in the artwork, yeah. Which I can tell you, if I had to do that, it would take 5,000 hours. <laughs> and I mean, the, the capturing the emotion and the faces, even, you know, President uh, Bush, where he had that look when, when the guy was whispering yes. in his ear, that can't be an easy yeah. thing to do. Yeah. No, it's not. A, you know, you look at photographs, but you want to try to capture those iconic images that we all remember from that right. day. Oh, yeah. And, got um, it too. and then we wanted to take it through beyond that day yeah. to the 10 years prior afterwards and the, and the build up to not only the tragedy of it, but the memorials, the, uh, the, the grieving, and then the rebuilding, because that's what we're about. We're America. Yeah. And what our enemies don't understand, you can beat us down but we're always gonna come back you know and what? stronger. Americans are a big fan. That's it. We don't always like each other. Oh, we'll fight we each other, but don't be beating up on one that's of us. Right. That's, that's right. right. We, we may not like each other, but we love each other. Yeah. yeah. And, and, we, and that's proof in the way that we deal with our grieving yeah. other citizens of our country. Absolutely. And you know, the work that you did on there, it tells a story. So when people walk up to it, it starts and it comes around to the very end when we killed Bin Laden, right? Yes. Yeah, in fact, that wasn't even planned. We were already in the middle of that project when that happened. Yeah, yeah. So I uh, decided that that would be the perfect ending to the to the story that's told around this truck the to, to bring it to that. Yeah. And then the uh, you know, the tonneau cover comes up with the 441 names yeah. of the first responders that died that day. And uh, and uh, to so, debut so it at Ground Zero was something. 441 first responders died that day yes. on top of all the other people that lost their lives. Yes. Our first responders are the guys that keep us, guys and gals, keep us safe. Yes. And this is a tribute to them. Absolutely. And the names are on the back. you got to tell that one story, man. I almost cried when you told me that. that it, it's a very emotional story. You know, you, you, you do this stuff and you kind of, you, you, you always hope that you're doing it for the right reasons and honoring the right people. But uh, the second day, it was raining there. We were debuting at Ground there Zero. There is Ground Zero. Absolutely. Right. We were there. And my wife and I were standing out by the truck. We'd gotten it out early that morning, and it was miserable, and I was trying to dry it off some, so I had raised the tonneau cover. Little old lady walks by. She's got two canvas bags she's walking with, stops at the rear of the truck, puts them down. Then I see her reaching up to touch the truck. I come around from the driver's side to ask her, ma'am, would you please not touch the truck? And she's got her hand on the very last name in the second row, and the name's Robert T. Lane. And she's crying, and she says to me, that's my son. And of course, what are you going to do? And, and she says, it's the last name where I can reach it. The little woman and the name's up there. And she, had her name on, her she was on her way to the church that was there by Ground Zero to light a candle for her son on that day. And for that to happen, you couldn't have scripted that. And, and it, was a, it was a very touching moment, but it made me feel, you know, this is why we do this, you know, for that very reason. Absolutely. It was an awesome time. Well, thank you very much, and thanks to all of our first responders, and all our military folks and families, and all the families that lost somebody, you know, our hearts go out to you, and God bless you and your families. And you know what, this thing, you got to come see it if you're anywhere near here, or check it out, because, you know, we've been showing some videos when, when it's going to be. Is it on a tour? Where yes, it, it is. It is traveling around. Uh, I think General Motors has something on the site about okay. it. I know it will be in May at the Pentagon, 
and, and there for a little bit of, okay. of a while. So. And what is it called, First Responder? It's called the First Responder. Okay, okay. Yeah, there you go. Silverado. So you can even Google First Responder, GM First Responder or yeah. something. Yeah, Silverado, watch. I think that it's on Absolutely YouTube. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Mickey Harris, thank you again. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, there's more videos, so hang with us.